Game five of the SWC, one team looking to be on the brink of a Fred Page Cup final appears, the other brink of elimination. Fraser Rogers, Tim Hogg with you on the highlights as the V's hosted Salmon Arm of the SWC as these two teams are tied two games apiece heading into this pivotal game on Friday night. Physical game early on. Brock Reinhardt lowering the boom there on Isaac Lambert on a heavy hit early in the first period. Will Ingman, the starter who's been excellent in the playoffs. Nice stop on Adam Boder. At the other end, Eli Pulver just as good as he always been in this series. Big stop there on Anselmo Rego. V's had a lot of good looks in this first period. 18 shots on net, which was one off their playoff high for the first period. That was set back in round one. Uh, Tim, they had a lot of good looks early on in the first period. Eli Pulver was there time and again, though. They really did. Yeah, they had lots of chances where they created some rebounds, and he was there to pick up the, the loose ones as well. And speaking of picking up the loose change on the power play, Tanner Wallows opens up the scoring on a rebound at 12.04, his fourth. Allen, the assist, along with Ryan Philbrick on that rebound to make it one nothing. Salmon Arm in the first period. V's again throwing a lot of pucks down low. Connor McPherson, one of several chances for him on this night. Stopped on the doorstep on a V's power play late in the first period. Yeah, he was our energy player of the game in the building tonight. He was very, very good for the V's despite not being able to score. Had lots of good chances, uh, particularly in the first two periods for Connor McPherson. Well, the V's wasted little time in the second to tie the game right off the opening faceoff on a power play that carried over. Faceoff won by Billy Renfrew. Keller not sets up James Fisher who scores his third of the playoffs, second of the series. Huge boost there to tie the game. Yeah, and a little play that Fisher, looks like it was pretty we well thought out there ahead of time with the power play starting in the uh, in the second period there. Fisher, Johnny on the spot to take that pass. That was a big goal for him, second of the series. He scored back in game two on a penalty shot. So it was 1-1 early on in the second period. Both goalies were sharp in that middle frame like they were in the first. Ingman a big stop there. And how about this? This might have been the game-changing moment. As close as you can come, Tim, to... Taking a lead, Matt Biotti somehow didn't have that shot go in. Yeah, as they call it, the TSN turning point, right? <laughs> At Bell Media Station partner, TSN, and that was tough as the Bees couldn't get a 2-1 lead. Looming large because late in the second at 14:32, Reed Varconi's first of the playoffs. Tips in the pass from J.J. Montero. Late 2-1 lead for Salmon Arm in the second period. Just really good eyes by J.J. Montero there to see Varconi coming down the left wing side, able to feed that pass to him. And again, there's Montero doing the dishing there to have another chance for Salmon Arm. Yeah, Jonah Agater late in that second, almost made it 3-1. Excellent shoulder stop by Will Ingman to keep that puck out. The V's also had looks in the third period down a goal on the power play to start the third. They were buzzing, but uh, Eli Pulver there to deny Larry Keenan in tight. Yeah, lots of shots again from the V's in the third period. A lot of them from the perimeter. They did create a few secondary opportunities and unfortunately could not beat Eli Pulver. That was probably the best chance in the period. Yeah, Max Heisey unfortunately couldn't get it over the pad to tie the game on a great feed from Renfrew in that one-timer. Probably their best look of the third period. Time winding down. Nathaniel Davis dumps it into the empty net from center ice for his first of the postseason to put the final nail in the coffin in game five against Penticton as Salmon Arm takes it 3-1. They lead this series 3-2. V's facing elimination in Game 6 tomorrow night in Salmon Arm. Highlights brought to you by the Penticton Herald.